how are you welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome so glad you're here I am back at it again with another a fantastic Shein haul for you you guys really enjoy when I do Shein hauls I really enjoy Shein hauls so it's kind of like a win-win situation for everyone and I found some pretty amazing pieces you're not gonna want to miss out on so be sure to stay tuned big thank you to the Shein team for gifting me these items super super appreciate it as always and you even have a coupon code you can use at checkout if you're interested in checking any of these pieces out for yourself or just shopping their website in general you can use the code q3 sherry to save 15 percent on the shein website real quickly before we get started i'll just share a little bit about my sizing i am a u.s size 24 pretty standardly with most brands in Shein, I typically wear a 5XL, which equates to a U.S. size 22, or sometimes I can get away with the 4XL, which is the U.S. Tw size 20. Now, I will say it's super important to look at the size charts, the fabric content, read any of the reviews, if there are any on the website before purchasing, just to know what you're getting yourself into here when it comes to sizing, fit, fabric, etc. So you'll see that today I actually picked quite a few things that were the size 4XL and the majority of them worked. So don't always just assume or second guess that this stuff won't fit you or it might be too big or too small, whatever the case may be, because I think you'll find that there are more things on the Shein website for sizes even larger than a size 22 than you might know. So definitely pay attention to the size chart. Definitely look for like stretchier fabrics or fabrics that are going to give you a little bit more give or silhouettes that are going to really contour or fit to your body type and keep those in mind as you shop the website and you'll be just fine. And without further ado, let's just hop right into it with this uh, baddie set here, guys. It's the TikTok legging like honeycomb print in a white and blue like tie-dye pattern so you've got the honeycomb fit this is like a cropped top and it comes with the scrunchy matching leggings hello i mean look at the booty on this like i don't know i really didn't think i was going to like these tiktok leggings as much as i do but here we are here we are what a time to be alive ladies and gentlemen you can wear leggings that just make your booty look so good without any effort it's like amazing i love this style and this print because blue is totally my color and i love that they opted for a white background i've said this in a couple of my other videos for some reason brands typically don't like to give plus size women men whoever you may be the option to wear white i think they think that we're afraid of it and that it's going to show too much or it's going to expose us or it's gonna you know whatever i'm over it like i'm ready for the white bring on the white and so when i saw that this print was available online i knew i was going to pick it up it also came in like a teal and like a different shade blue that's definitely like no white at all but i wanted to try the white leggings like it's 2021 wear the white if you want to just wear it okay these are super super stretchy very comfortable now i will say that like they're a little sheer like you can see the flesh tone through so just keep that in mind but if you're wearing you know these like tie-dye white and blue tiktok legging printed leggings i don't think you probably care so much that they might be a little sheer but that's just my hunch and then this top is also a very stretchy super cute and like a cropped length with a full sleeve so i love like the juxtaposition of like a cute little crop top but with a full sleeve length like love it love it now this set is in the size 4xl which is the us size 20. so here is an example of where i was actually going down like two to three sizes depending on you know how you look at it and it still worked out really great so super happy with this super cute super comfortable i'm gonna just like walk around like the baddie i am in my apartment all summer long in this i can't wait next up is this really pretty dress i picked up this dress because i really liked kind of just like the bohemian 
effect that it had with the print up here and then it does taper down into just like a full length mustard yellow bottom uh this fabric has like no stretch at all it's kind of like almost almost like a linen texture um so definitely you know a little bit of a boxier fit up top and then it just bells out so i knew i'd be okay with the fit now the thing i'll say about this is that it does hit me like right under the bust and it just kind of like bells out and i wish it were maybe two to three inches longer of fabric here so that i didn't feel like it looked like it was too small because it doesn't fit me like it's too small anywhere else but there which is kind of a bummer even in the arms i was fine in the arms it was just really like this area right here that kind of like came up a little too high on my bust so it looked like it just didn't fit right um which is unfortunate because i really like this i think it's very very pretty it's definitely like got a different feel to it kind of like a bohemian anthropology ish meets like h&m look that i really love the bottom of this dress is also kind of that linen like material that's why it's fairly wrinkle prone i did steam this when i got it but as soon as you you know fold this up in any way it's going to wrinkle so keep that in mind but it is full length overall this is beautiful i got it in the 5xl which is the us size 22 and outside of kind of the length issue that i had up top it fit me really wonderful and it's stunning next up is another dress that i just really didn't even think i was gonna love and then i fell in love with it like i didn't even think i was gonna like it it's just very basic kind of like a milkmaid style top with a square neckline we all know how much i love a square neckline cute little uh poofed ruffled sleeve again guys i did steam this but i folded it up um which i probably shouldn't have done uh in preparation for this video and now it's all wrinkled but just know like this fabric similar to the last dress is going to be very wrinkle prone because it's kind of like that linen-y textured material but worth it hashtag worth it now the thing i love the most is that it comes down to the smocked waist which is going to give you the most flattering silhouette if you are apple shape if you are pear shape if you are hourglass if there's another shape that i did not mention this is going to just make you your waist look a little snatched even if you're apple shape i fully believe because at the bottom it then bells out to just kind of like this a-line frame which is really beautiful now this bottom also has a really cute slit in the front so she's got a sexy leg moment on top of it all. This like has like the sweet, innocent, like, oh, I'm just a milkmaid look, but with a good push up bra and like a fresh set of shaved legs, girl, you could just like turn some necks in this. I'm not even kidding you. You could turn some necks. I love this. I love this. I love this. I cannot wait to wear it. I picked it up in the 4XL, which again is the US size 20. And this fit me really well. I had plenty of room even in the butt and the hips where it's like my problem area i'm definitely a solid 24 maybe a 26 on bottom depending on the fit and this is a 20 and it fit me just perfect like perfectly so love it love it love it definitely pay attention to the size charts so happy i found this one i was so excited for this piece so excited guys it's a beautiful satin silk robe with like this crane pattern on it and it just looks so like beautiful and luxurious and expensive and like sexy expensive you know what i mean oh i love it and i chose to pair it with just like a satin camisole dress that i had in my closet as an overpiece like absolutely you could wear this as a robe sure why not but if you wanted to take this out you could absolutely multi-purpose this. This has a lot of potential to be a real showstopper outside of the house. Like, it is beautiful. Got a little bit of a bell sleeved here. And it does have a same printed satin tie. Now, this one, I can get it shut and keep it secured. I would probably have a couple of moments where I'd flash someone my my lady bits if i were to wear this around the house and i had company over which is why i think i will opt to wear this as a kimono style or an overpiece 
because it's far too pretty just to wear around the house. Um, or, you know, if you're having an intimate moment, I think it definitely has a place there as well. But it's just so pretty and so silky and just, it feels expensive, it looks expensive, and you're just like not gonna believe the price of this when you go to look at it. Like, it looks, feels, and acts a lot more expensive than it is, and I am here for it. I did pick this one up in the 5XL, which is the US size 22, and I think it fits lovely. Next up is another dress, and this is just like an easy like grab and go dress. I was drawn to this because of the colors, honey. Like these colors are everything to me. I love like particularly this like burnt brown orange. Oh, I love it, I love it. Especially when it's paired with like the blues and the pinks. It's just got like this like rustic western but contemporary feel i just love it it's an abstract like shaped dress kind of like a trapeze style in a sense like not much shape to it it does get a little bit more tapered or my hips fill it out more towards the bottom where my hips and my butt were but it was still roomy enough to where i didn't feel like it was too tight this fabric however has no stretch at all it's similar to the other dresses that I've showed you so far where it's kind of like that stiffer material. Not quite like a linen like the others, but it again is wrinkle prone. <laughs> I did steam this, but it's been sitting on my, in my couch for a couple of days as I was prepping for this video. So, you know, it is what it is. But overall, a really pretty dress. This would look so cute belted. This would look so cute with like... A jacket over top of it and some booties in the fall like this one just has a lot of versatility for me and I am here for it I did pick it up in the size 5xl which is the US size 22 and I truly needed this size because there's no stretch so I'm really happy I opted for this one and I think it fits really really well I really like this Next up is another like TikTok honeycomb combo coming at ya in bright neon tie-dye. But opted for the sports bra version. I thought this was super cute. Like who doesn't wanna like work out and get active in neon tie-dye, first of all. Second of all, it's the same kind of printed texture. I actually really like the fit of this. It does have like those molded padded cups here in the bust. So if you're a smaller chested lady like I, you're gonna feel really covered, which is nice. Um, but it does still have a little bit of support. Now, if you are have a larger, larger chest, probably not the sports bra for you. It would probably look cute, but it's not gonna be practical, if you know what I mean. Very stretchy, just very comfortable and roomy. I love it, I love it. And the leggings that go with it are the same print and style tie-dye neon honeycomb leggings here's the scrunchy butt you know I've, I've talked about these already I love them they're very stretchy here's the sheerness factor coming into play and overall like just a fun set like you can't have a bad day when you're wearing this it's impossible it's impossible right I just think it's so fun I did pick this set up in the size 4XL which is the US size 20 and I think it fits really well next up is really like the only disappointment I think I had in this whole video because it's this beautiful like very sweet dress it's kind of got like this old Western look to it I was drawn to it because of the pattern here it's brown with yellow roses and my grandmother who's been passed away for several years now loved yellow roses so much so like I always just have this like nostalgia for yellow roses and you don't see them often especially on clothing so when I saw this I was like oh my gosh I have to try it not only do I love like the aesthetic of the dress but the print is just too perfect and it's so sweet and beautiful. The only problem is, is that it has like no stretch in the hips and the butt. And so on me, it just was not going to work. I needed this to definitely be a size bigger. I picked it up in the 4XL, which is the US size 20, and that's where I went wrong. It definitely fit up top because the top has the smocked back. But as, I ta as it tapered down and it got to the bottom half of the dress where I am my largest, it just wasn't going to work, unfortunately. Now, if this did come in a size up or maybe two sizes up, I would definitely 
definitely reconsider because it is beautiful it is beautiful it is beautiful but unfortunately this one did not work for me and it's a sad day but maybe it'll work for some of you out there if you love this just as much as i do um, i swear shein has just been like killing it with the dresses these days check out this dress it is like a shimmer vertical striped dress very beautiful but i love like this sporty band in the middle it's like a cotton almost like a like a, a wristband or like a he you know like a headband type like sweatband <laughs> style i don't know i love the like juxtaposition between these two sections and then the bottom has this beautiful beautiful full length maxi style this reminds me a lot of something that I might see at like Eloquy, okay? Um, the quality seems very much like something I would see at Eloquy or Lane Bryant, but it was so affordable, so, so affordable. The sleeve is also kind of like this balloon sleeve with the cuff at the bottom. It is sheer, so there's not a lining on the sleeve, but the rest of the dress does have a lining underneath of it, which is nice. I was super impressed with this. I, I really didn't know what to expect when I saw it on the website. The pictures online do not do this justice. This is beautiful. This is something that I think I'm going to keep in my closet for a very, very long time because it is stunning. I picked it up in the size 4XL, which is the US size 20, and it's got great stretch throughout the entire dress. I had no issues at all. And I just absolutely love this and my expectations were totally blown away. Next up is the only thing that I literally could not try on for you guys um, because there was just no way I could have made it work. But it, it has so much potential. Like this was the first thing that I looked at online and I added to cart because if this doesn't have my name written all over it, I don't know what does. Like this is so damn cute, so damn cute. The sleeve is perfect. The, the top is perfect. It's got these really beautiful like buttons down the front and a really pretty like lace at the bottom. I just, oh, this is so sweet and so perfect. But I've found that with Shein's like crop tops like this, I this is now my third or fourth time trying a top similar to this and cut. And it's just all wrong for me like that it just does not work like if when I was trying to try this on the buttons came to a point like way down here um so like everything would have been exposed it just it's not cut right or it's not cut right for me I'm not sure um also it was very tight in kind of like the underarm area this doesn't have much stretch at all to it and the fabric itself you're gonna have some stretch on the shoulders but that's about it. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to try this on for you guys. It was damn near impossible to even like try to figure out how this worked. So I wasn't going to like make you suffer through the try on. Um, but if you're a little bit more petite or if you know that Shein's tops like this typically work for you, maybe give this one a try because it's beautiful in theory. It is beautiful in theory. It just doesn't agree with my body. And last but not least is another fantastic dress in a white and black, kind of like chevron print. Okay, I said this earlier, summertime I'm wearing all the white I want. I'm not gonna care, like wear the white, honey, wear the white. This dress is so stinking beautiful, okay? It's got like this western, like chevron print to it, but it has like that kind of like Amish, bottom to it where it kind of like bells out i don't know i don't know i like really 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 like this it's got a pretty v-neck here a full length sleeve this is definitely something that you can wear into fall transition from summer to spring to fall i mean if you want to be rebellious wear this in winter do it honey i chose to just plop a chunky black belt with this not sure if i would wear that particular belt in hindsight but i wanted to show you that you could definitely break up kind of a busy dress like this with a very basic black bold or solid colored belt and that will really help to break this up because i know that this is a little intimidating of a dress it's kind of busy, it's loud, it's white and black with a lot of print going on. So try to break it up and find a focal point where you can bring in a belt 
or something to just like distract a little bit and break up the two pieces, which I really, really loved. Full length on this, not any stretch in the fabric, but you do have a stretchy waist. So I had no problem whatsoever. This is in the size 5XL, which is the US size 22, and it fit me wonderful. I cannot wait to style and try this. And I just can't wait to wear it. And that is everything that I picked up from my most recent Shein haul. Thank you so much for stopping by and tuning in. I'd love to hear from you down below what some of your favorite pieces are and if there's anything that you might check out for yourself. And don't forget, you can use my coupon code at checkout if you want to save some extra coin. Use code Q3Sherry. As always, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That really helps me to know the kind of content that you like here on this channel. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. I'd love to have you join us here as we go deeper into plus size fashion and beauty. Thank you so much again for stopping by and I will be sure to see you in the next one. Take care.